Hey everyone, myself Trivanshi Kisarwani and welcome to my channel Code Desk. Today we will solve the restaurant customer problem from CSCS problem set. And the key points are we will be given with the arrival and leaving times of an customer in a restaurant. We will begin with the arrival and leaving time of these customers in a restaurant. And we need to find what is the maximum number of customers in the restaurant at any given time. So at any time, not at any given time. So an example, there are three customers. First arrives at 5 and leaves at 8, the second arrives at 2 and leaves at 4, and the third arrives at 3 and leaves at 9. And the maximum customer is 2. Let's see how. So these are the customers. This first, this first customer arrives at 5 and leaves at 8. The second one arrives at 2 and leaves at 4. And the last one arrives at 3 and leaves at 9. So 5 at 8, then 2 and 4. This is the customer sitting. This is was was customer. Then at, at at three we get encounter of another customer. So in total at this point of time at this point of time we have two customers. Then he leaves. So we are left here at one. One customer only because at four it, he leaves. Then comes the five and eight and this last customer is sitting from three to nine. So this also arrives. And it is in this given span of time. And in total here we have this last customer and the first customer. So 2. So maximum customer is 2. This is how we get. Let's see um, how we are doing this. Let's uh, devise an approach of this. Instead of uh, instead of uh, uh, seeing from this, this is first customer, second customer. If we sort and check who comes the first then we can easily map or we can easily go over the distribution of the customer so in the beginning this is zero and just forget the way they have given this is the customer which which comes at two o'clock let's let's say two o'clock so this is the first arrival right so we need to do sorry to get to uh, arrange to see how the flow of customer goes so the, this customer arrives at 2 and this means this is the first customer and we have first customer then at 3 this customer arrive, uh, also arrives so we have 2 then this uh, this first customer leaves then this there is minus 1 then that means from there were 2 then minus 1 then there is there is 2 1 customer only there then at 5 this customer arrives plus 1 so in total we have two then this leaves minus one that means we are left with one and then this also leaves minus one that means we are left with zero so in the beginning we were having zero and at the beginning we will having uh, in the uh, end also we will have zero so you see we mapped we sorted so it becomes very easy to not track the flow of customer now what i am suggesting is if we make arrival with plus one and leaving with minus one that means they in the beginning we were having zero then this arrives so this is plus one then then this arrives then there is a plus one in total we have two now then the this customer leaves so we have minus one here. Then uh, this all this arrives. We have plus one, leave minus one, and this minus one. So zero. So plus one plus one. We we were having two. Then minus one leaves. That means we are left with one. Then again plus one. So 1 1 2 then 2 2 then minus 1 1 and then again minus 1 0. So if we do like this arriving and leaving then find the maximum at any given at any time and that the maximum is 2 right. So this is our answer. Again plus 1 for arrival and we have sorted and then plus 1 for arrival and minus 1 for leaving.
and if we keep on adding this the this flow we will get the and keep track of the maximum we will have the maximum number of customers then as told we will need to do, do sorting and also we need to map these values of uh, like 2 uh, is for arrival 4 is mapped to minus 1 this is how we are tracking of arrival and leaving time that means uh, we need to do some kind of mapping also here right because arriving is arrival is mapped to plus 1 and leave is uh, mapped to minus 1 so we need to think of something uh, which can do and yes there is a data structure there is a structure for it which is maps this is a container in which we can do the mapping also of these arriving and leaving also by default maps are sorted in ascending order so this is also fulfilling these two requirements so we can use maps and if you have any issue with maps i have a video of that also in SL series i will get the i will give you the link in the description you can check it from there then they have told you may assume that all arrival and leaving times are distinct so we can use simple normal regular maps there is no need of going multi maps which store duplicate keys we can go with normal maps let's see so here we have the map and these are its key value and there is a customer map name so we have what we have to do we need to pair the arrival with plus one and the leaving with minus one so these were the uh, customers 5 and 8 2 and 4 and 3 and 9 but when we have put this in our container map then they this map stores in sorted order so 2 means arrival and 3 then there is arrival 4 there is a leaving so minus 1 5 arrival plus 1 8 and um, leaving 9 leaving so this how if we track of these uh, numbers we can get the max of the, the this numbers so here is we start from the begin and th this is our now customer maps we start from the beginning and we'll go up to end then what we will do this present customer initially we will have zero right we were having beginning present customer at zero so we'll add zero to this second this second this means second uh, value so we will start from here and the, it, this is first this is second so we'll add this then um, this maximum is initially also zero so we will have first as maximum then we'll go then we uh, get that three three is plus one that means we have to add this also right plus one so we add this now we have two maximum is now two now we go again back this is minus one that means we have to now subtract this that means that customer leaves now in the given span of time this now leaves so we were left with only one customer then there is arrival of again was uh, uh, at five another customer so we will add this also so two then there is a leaving minus one and minus one and this maximum is keep holding of the maximum number so that is pretty much let's try to write the code of this now Firstly, we need to number of customer at zero. Then we define our map. This map is for keep tracking of the arrival and leave customers. Then. Then there will be these customers. So we will while n minus minus 
so in arrival arrival and customer will be known so arrival is 0 leaving is 0 in arrival and leaving then we are going to insert in our map and if you have any issue there is a video of maps also check that out so pair and we will insert the arrival and that will be plus one so one right because arrival is plus one and minus one is for leaving now what we need to do we need to iterate over the iterate over the customer map so we can use auto to y equal customer dot begin customer dot customer i is not equal to customer dot n and we need to keep on doing this and i plus plus and we need to define two more variables present customers with zero because in the beginning we have the zero customer and the maximum customers initially everything is zero now in present customers i add the second and the maximum customer will be max of maximum customers and present customers and we simply put, uh, display the maximum customers so it has been accepted so i hope it is clear we created map because we need to keep track of the arrival and uh, leaving by plus one and minus one and also we need to do the sorting also because uh, we need to uh, keep track of the flow who, who arrives first so that's why uh, we use map maps and uh, arriving was plus one and leaving was minus one and we just kept a key track of this number and since it was sorted so after two after two and there we encountered plus one not minus one that means this customer is is there only that's why we encountered this plus one that's how we keep on doing like this all right